All right, now to the latest in the trial of two Aurora police officers charged in the death of Elijah McLean. 23 year old McLean was stopped by Aurora police in August 2019 while walking home. Somebody had called 911 to report suspicious activity. He was taken to the ground by officers and then later injected with ketamine by paramedics and then died several days later. The first witness to testify today for the prosecution focused on the body camera footage recorded the night the officers confronted McLean. An Aurora police lieutenant testified about more than 40 videos related to that response. Portions of them were played in court today. The lieutenant then was asked to identify the people in them and identify who said what. Did you recognize the voice of the person who just spoke just now? Uh, I did. And who was that? It's Officer Rosenblatt. And just for the record, what did you hear them say? Uh, Asked if he had to throw up and uh, throw up right there. Don't throw up on me. A second witness to testify today was an audio and video expert. He testified about his work to enhance some of that body cam footage. This trial is expected to last several weeks. The officers charged here, Randy Rodima and Jason Rosenblatt, pleaded not guilty to criminally negligent homicide and to manslaughter. And you can get the very latest on this trial on our website, denver7.com slash Elijah McLean. We have 360 in-depth coverage, including a timeline of events, details on Aurora's settlement with McLean's family. Also, a very interesting deep dive into the use of ketamine.